All right, we are back with another leg day today. Excited for today because we're gonna squat, barbell squat this time. Last time we were on the Smith machine, felt, felt good, but today I'm ready to go for some real big boy squats on the barbell. So that's a plan for today. Probably also get in some accessory work. Leg extension, hamstring curl, you know, the necessities will be done. Um, but squats are the focus today. So go in there and get warmed up. So I've been asked if I'm gonna do more Q and A's, um, possibly. Now, I would prefer to answer your questions during this time on the way to the gym and then get a lift in rather than have its own day. Maybe every once in a while um, we'll get those days in if I don't have somebody to film for me or I'm short of the video. Then I could do one of those days where it's a cardio Q&A because I don't really need anybody to film me. Um, but simply the lifting videos just do better. So yeah, with that being said, if you do have a question, leave it in the comments and I'll get to it in the next video. So if you're somebody that's lacking in the lower body region, I would definitely try increasing the weight on squats, leg press, really any pressing movement. Um, I, I mean, as much as I love the leg extensions, the hamstring curls, those are better when your legs are more developed and the best, most efficient way to develop the legs entirely are gonna be your barbell squats. Uh, you know, debatably on the Smith machine. The Smith machine keeps, you know, the form a little stricter straight up and down. Um, so that's, if that's something that you're into, then you could get the job done on there. Uh, but for the most part, I, I'd attribute most of my leg gains in the past two, three years to the squats. I, I went from squatting consistently. I say I'd squat maybe like 275 to 315. And then I tried 405 and 405 is pretty heavy. If you, if you haven't squatted four plates, it, it's, it's a different beast than, than just 315 because of the pressure that it puts on your spine. So I try not to go much heavier than 405. Um, I just like to maximize the reps because it's not like I do a crazy amount of reps. You know, the top set of 405, I'm, I'm only getting, you know, 10 or 12 maximum and sometimes even less. And if I'm getting less reps, you know, it's okay because it's still a shitload of weight and really any reps are gonna help your leg development. But if you really wanna stimulate that muscle growth, you need to be in that eight to 12 range and that's what I like to stick to. So I've just been training my body to get 405 for reps. And um, I don't really see myself, you know, squatting any more weight than that, you know, consistently. So it feels good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep building on what you got. Uh, but we just pulled up to the gym, so we gotta go smash legs. Okay, squats today. We already did our build up, so three plates is when we get into our working sets. So try to keep it to like 12 breaths today. So uh, yeah, back to squats.
Probably should have locked in the weight, but it's all good. All right, got a sleeve up for this one. Make sure we're being safe. All right. Belt necessity. Four plates necessity. Well, not really, but we're gonna do it still. Um, we'll try to keep it clean, but need to uh, stay within the zone keep the contraction a bit more on the front side because if this heavy you're gonna hit you know glutes and hamstrings pretty easily Had a little lean forward action, so cut it at that. But I think well, either you saw the video, or you heard of that one dude out in Indonesia. I, I don't know his name. I didn't really know him, but uh, I guess the bar fell forward, slipped and clipped him on the neck. Now some people might say like, "Oh shit, four plates," you know. It's enough to kill you. You got to think of it this way. That guy was probably, you know, 150, maybe a buck 60. When you're putting up that much weight, that's insane. So I got a few more pounds on me. So doing 405 is, is definitely manageable, especially if you're going for reps. That's why I always say don't one rep max it. There's no point, you know. Go for triples if you if you want to test your strength. But uh, yeah, man, it's a lot of weight, so just be careful. Okay, we're gonna pop the heels up a little bit, drop down a plate. And uh, for right now, I kind of just want to focus on the rhythm of this set. So I don't want to pause too much in between reps. I just kind of want to crank them out and keep the tension now that's a bit lighter. Ah. 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 The leg's starting to go away yet. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling like the shape is there, so that's all I'm really looking for. We'll dice it out with the cardio, but the shape is pretty much there. Okay, I'm gonna give the front squats a go with two plates. I haven't should I haven't really touched too heavy for front squats just because it's a lot on your wrists and collarbones but we'll get as many as we can here heel lifted Well, that wasn't too, too bad. It felt uh, a little lighter than what I'm used to, but two plates front squat, that's, that's enough. I mean, with all that weight, you're almost hitting core, but it felt good. 
no belts or anything. Just gonna try to brace the core. And uh, yeah, we'll try to maximize the reps here. Goal is 20, but I always say that, and fucking by rep 10, it's killing. So we'll try for 20 and see how many we get. And we're probably gonna do a little cross shoulder grip for this one. Then it's more comfortable, but it's kind of not really realistic when it's too heavy. So let's go. like half legs, half abs right there. All right, split squats off the, I guess this is like a grounded, grounded lunge squat machine. I don't know, it does the job for split squats, so. Just gonna do like a, what, a plate in 25? Should do the trick. Gonna switch to the Romanian deadlifts, neutral grip. Basically three plates, because we're working with the 25 and the machine, which is like another 35 pounds, so. Yeah, hamstrings. different motion than letting the bar drag down your legs. Wobbly. Little extensions, little curls, cap it off. I don't know if we're gonna go super heavy on this because we were training hard out of the gate today, so see how much we have left. Okay, we're gonna try to power through these last few sets. 
is on about 10% battery level right now. And not for the camera, for my charge. So let's get through it. <sighs> Half starting to cramp now too. Probably gonna have to have a chest and calf day. And give the calves a little attention after an upper body workout. I think that's gonna be the move this week. Try to keep the uh, mic on the back of my hat so we don't get too much grunts on this one. This is a grunter machine. Definitely harder after the uh, Romanian deadlift. I need like not that much weight right now and it still hits. I keep running this up just a little bit and then try to try to get slower movements on this. gonna be a sore couple days I you feel it all right the legs are done so we got to save room for cardio got to go knock that out right now overall tough day first day squatting like more than well that was a good overall like six or seven sets of squats so that's enough for a full workout, but we got to go take care of cardio. I'll see you guys in the car. Whew. Leg day finished. Man, that was a tough one. I think I did nearly 10 sets of squats, front and back. Um, not every single set was filmed, but yeah, we ran it up to about 10 sets and I think I just burnt out after that, like midway through the workout, did my legs really start feeling it. So yeah, we worked them hard. Squats were the focus today anyway. So if there was one thing I wanted to get done to maximum effort, it was that. So we accomplished that goal. Um, you know, we're gonna have our days where we're isolated and we're just doing our leg extensions and basic accessory work for our legs but but yeah job is finished cardio is done got to slam the shake i think that's one thing that i probably could have used intra workout was carbs but i kind of like to uh you know down the carbs post workout so that i don't have to worry about any bloating during the workout so that's what we're gonna do right now there's this guy out here smoking a cigarette with his shirt off in front of the club man i swear so the club that i go to <clears throat> once was a very elitist gym you know you you once had to be somebody to kind of get a membership um you know you would see 
guys like Tom Brady, Barry Bonds, Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, you know, at, at the club. And it was once a club uh, that people took pride in having a membership in. And I, I feel like that's kind of something that we lack in this generation. Um, you know, there's, there's really no clubs that you, you, can, you can really take pride and, and have a respect for the uh, gym atmosphere. Uh, I really think that's something that we lack today. And it is my mission to bring that back. And, you know, there's all this stuff about, you know, inclusiveness and, oh, we got to we can't discriminate against anybody. And, and I understand that. And I'm not going to, you know, get into the political side of things. You know, that's just not me. If you're somebody that, you know, has interest in, in joining the club, you know, you, you need to, you know, show the pe- first and foremost, the people with respect. Uh, you need to show the equipment respect. You got to, you know, kind of um, at least have some decency for the environment. You know, it, it's, not a, it's not a playground. You know, some people are going there to work. Um, you know, whether their job is in bodybuilding or fitness, you know, we're trying to, uh, you know, take care of business simply while we're there in the gym. I mean, you know, for the most part, I'm in the gym, you know, no cell phones, no, no distractions. Half the time, I'm not even really listening to music. I kind of have it in the headphones in just, you know, because during the, um, you know, the last part of the workout, I'm doing cardio. So I'll turn the music on, but you know, most of the time I'm not even really listening to, to music anymore. And there's just really no distractions for me. And now what you get in the gym is just, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of people just kind of, you know, lackadaisical on their phones, you know, they're, they're, they're taking up time, you know, on the machines, you know, just sitting there scrolling Facebook or TikTok or whatever it is. And it just kind of, you know, takes away from that elite atmosphere. And, and I feel like that's one thing that, you know, we need, really need to bring back in this generation is, is, you know, get the job done, take care of the BS social media afterwards. You're just, you're just going to be more efficient with your time. I mean, if you were to go in the gym for 45 minutes with no cell phone, just think of all the shit you can get done. I mean, you don't have to have this crazy amount of time in between sets. You can get the job done and get out of there and then go on your phone and have plenty of time afterwards. I don't know. That's just the uh, old school mindset that I have. So, you know, anybody that's out there that, you know, they're taking their phones into the gym and you feel like you're not getting the best or most efficient workout, I would really recommend you try either leaving it in the car lock it up in the locker room or at the very least just put it in your bag on airplane mode or do not disturb and just leave it there so yeah that's my tip for the day you know stay locked in stay dialed you know it's the only way you're going to see the results take care of business do what you need to do and good things will happen so with that I'm going to leave it there solid leg day we have a, another TBD. Actually, you know what? No. The next day is chest and calves, cutler style. Because for one, I need to finish those calves. And for two, I need to bang chest pretty hard. So that's going to be the plan. Chest and calves, next prep day. I will see you guys then. Peace.